greetings again, uh, my dear friends. Uh, let us speak about why uh, some African countries are suffering uh, with a shortage of food while other African or neighboring country has a surplus of food. As I take my journey from my home place to this place, I discovered many things and one of the things that I discovered is the lack of good infrastructure. As you see in my previous video when I was just moving around uh, to reach this place, you see I come by foot. So this means we don't have good road uh, so that we can transport this food from one place to another. Today, Africa, we are importing food. Sometimes because we are not creating good relationship among ourselves, among Africans, you can wonder why maybe, that's an example, the people of DRC are importing food from, maybe from outside of the continent of Africa, while the neighboring country like Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda have a surplus of food. We can ask ourselves why this happened. So infrastructure is the big problem to our mother continent Africa. But who will do these infrastructures? Are we waiting for the Chinese to do this for us? Yes, the Chinese will do this for us, but they will give us loan that will keep us debted and colonized again. So I hug my dear friends, people of Africa, to think about how we can build good infrastructures to transport our food, our goods, and the free movement of people. We are talking about continental food trade area. Yes, this place has producing enough goods. They are producing enough uh, coffee. So how can we move the goods from this place, or food, or uh, crops from this area to another area? While we have, we don't have infrastructure. If you look around here, we, there's no bridge here. In the uh, in the valley, there are there is, uh, water stream during rainfall. There's a lot of water, so it is difficult for the people from that side to this side to move or to cross the river. So the infrastructure is not good. So all in all, my dear friends, we need to improve our infrastructure, and it is our duty as Africans. For many years, Africans have been built by, uh, by, by, by European and the, the Chinese and the others. Even the, some infrastructure that we have, it, the, those are built during colonial uh, communism, during slave trade. Our, our bridge are too hard. So this is the time for Africa to build our own infrastructure. We have good now, we have seen good load, yes, but some of them are built by the Chinese. But we need to see the Africans participating in building our infrastructures so that we can start using our own things. So that, as you see here, the food can move free from one place to another, and we can solve the problem of hunger. The people may be in some areas in the continent of Africa, like Egypt, like Ethiopia, in Tigray, in there, like in Somalia, where there are droughts and there are uh, climatic change. The people are suffering with a shortage of food, while the people in the eastern part of the continent have a surplus of food. But how can we take the food to that place? We have seen the European, they use their uh, planes and the helicopters to supply uh, head food. But Africa, we can support also. We can provide food to those uh, people in Djibouti, in Somalia, in somewhere else. But we don't have good infrastructure to take off our goods from our place to another place. So all in all, uh, let us provide and build the good infrastructures. Uh, as we look around here, you see those are rough roads, uh, and sometimes uh, those rough roads during rain season, it is difficult for cars, for motorcycles, even for the people who are moving, uh, who are walking, to move from one place to another. So, but all in all, 
let us build good infrastructures for our mother continent Africa so that we can implement what we call continent of free trade area. Otherwise, this continent of free trade area will be taken by the Chinese, will be taken by Europeans, will be taken by the uh, Americans. They will use those opportunities. And sometimes we think the people are loving Africa than we Africans. That's not the reality. We Africans, we are the ones who love this continent than others. So we need to show, first, to show what we have done for this continent. Yes, maybe we don't have a capital, but we have resources. Why we can't save those resources to get a capital? Sometimes we have good engineers. Let us allow them to show what they have and what their brain are just thinking about so that they can help the people in the village, in the little area, to improve their lives. Uh, that's the what I want to, to add when I was reaching this place. And of course, as I said, we seek solution for African problems. We can keep talking, but we need more action than talking. Uh, but we can't have a solutions without uh, determining the problem. So we're just discovering the problem, determining, so we're addressing the problem that we have. Uh, that's why we say, uh, sometimes the people who are in diaspora have capacities, have more knowledge compared to uh, to the people in the new area, but these are their homes. We need to come and have something. The people here in the continent of Africa were using indigenous ways. Yes, that is good, but we need more uh, technique to, to increase or to add to our indigenous method of doing our things so that we can improve our life. So thank you. Uh, I have enjoyed to be here. Uh, I have discovered many things. I have learned many things. And I will continue to learn. And I will continue to move along our mother continent in some places so that I can show you uh, the beautiful and amazing things like this. You can enjoy. Uh, we want to speak our home story. We, want, we don't want someone to tell us our, their home story about us. We want we as Africans to speak our home things so that our young children, our young and our children will learn from us. Thank you.